Who led the NFL in receiving yards last season? This right, Antonio Brown? Uh, probably uh, Hopkins. Was it Edelman? I would have to say Antonio Brown. That's a common answer, but it was actually T.Y. Hilton. I didn't know that. T.Y. Hilton led the NFL with 1,448 receiving yards in 2016. Since entering the league in 2012, he has the fifth most receiving yards. He's a tough man to catch, but I tracked him down at his youth football camp in Indianapolis. All right, it's championship football today. But first, we're going to start off with some drills, get y'all ready, and then we're going to be ready to go. We're going to have fun, cheer each other on, and let's be great today, all right? Let's be great today, all right? I know when you do these camps, you said you like to, you know, meet all these kids at this age in their life when they're listening and they're learning, but, you know, your son's also out there. What's that like for you to interact with him and, you know, while also interacting with all these other kids? Once I'm face-to-face -face with him and I'm guarding him, it's just an all-out war. I'm giving everything I got. He's going to give everything he's got. And to have those bragging rights once we get home. So I cannot let him catch the ball. And when he catches it, he always bumps me or just let me know, yeah, I got you. Hilton's son, Eugene, has receiving skills. But 10 years ago, his crawling skills helped his dad decide whether to attend West Virginia or Florida International. You didn't really put your future in your baby's adorable hands, did you? I did. Um, I came in the room, grabbed the two hats, put it on the bed, and I say, just crawl. And he crawled to FIU. I'm like, hold on, let me switch the hat. So I switched him. <laughs> he crawled to FIU again. And it happened about eight times. He kept choosing FIU. So that's when I knew it was destined for me to go to FIU. Does he feel responsible for, does he ever like, Dad, it was me. I did it. You I, owe me. I don't even think he knows. What? I don't think he knows uh, the story behind it. I don't even think he knows how I ended up there. You should tell him. Maybe I'll ask him. One of these days, yeah. I'll ask him, do he know why I chose FIU? In your career so far, is there a game you remember as like your favorite game? The first one that popped into my head was when you had no sleep at all because you had a oh, baby girl. Yeah. How did you do that? That was the by far the hardest, toughest game I ever was a part of. Baby thing. Regina, Emma, stop. <laughs> seven pounds, seven ounces. Yeah. You woke me up at 5.30 this morning and tell me he's on the way to the hospital. Coach texts me, you know, uh, congratulations, uh, everything's good. Um, Are you coming to work today? <laughs> we sure can use you today, yeah. <laughs> Got to the game, luck comes in there. Congrats, buddy. You ready to go? And I'm getting loose, I'm getting loose. Get loose, I'm coming to you. I'm like, oh Lord, not right now. <laughs> I have like no legs, like no energy, no nothing. I have nothing. Third quarter, he threw it. And I caught it and ran, and my legs were so heavy running to the end zone. <laughs> and then I just remember walking my daughter once I got to the end zone. He celebrates the birth of his daughter the football like an infant. Yeah, special moment. Come on, man. Get your IV. Great job. Great job. You were a little emotional in the post game. I was. It was so, it was so sweet, though. I know. It was so sweet. You could see how genuinely you were like, can we wrap this up? I want to go be with my daughter. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, very emotional game for me, you know. A uh, little bit of rest. I've uh, been up since 4-5. Yeah, I just came out here and gave him off. Uh. I got the game ball once we got in the locker room. Yeah. Just a special moment, special day. And, you know, it's just something that I've always cherished for the rest of my life. Morning started really, really early. Okay, because I got a phone call at 5.30 saying, hey, I'm on my way, okay, to the hospital. Wife just went into labor. Okay, goes and delivers a baby, said he did it on his own, okay? <laughs> Made it back, put some food in his stomach, got four catches, 122 yards, and a touchdown. Hold on, hold on. And a brand new baby girl, Eugenia Emma, seven pounds, seven ounces. Eugenia Emma, Emma Hilton. 
Turns out this father of three has football stories for all his kids. In the spring of 2016, his youngest son made a name for himself. <laughs> he was playing six and under, he's only four. Oh my God. And then that night, top 10 comes on. I'm like, please do not show him, please do not show him. <laughs> they say, oh, we have T.Y. Hilton's son. He pops up, jumps up, and just watches. Once he's shaking, he's about, ooh, did I do that? And I'm like, stop it, lay down. <laughs> I guess disappearing from defenders is inherited. Seems fitting since Hilton goes by the nickname The Ghost, earned in 2014 thanks to a monster game against Houston. T.Y.'s got a touchdown! What a throw, what a catch! Coach Pagano, he said, you know, by the time you see him, he's already passed you, The Ghost and then it just kind of stuck with me. One game ball, nine catches, 223 yards. You led the league in yards, and it just doesn't ever feel like there's the same hype, excitement. Do you feel that? Do you notice that? Do you feel like people don't give you a fair shot? For me, personally, I look at everything. I look at what everyone says. You do? I do. Yeah. Because I like it, you know. Good or bad, I like it. But for me, I just go out there and play my game, you know, and men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. <laughs> so if you look at my numbers, they're there. They're all right. They're there. Brissette again, he throws up, he'll cut by him. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Cuts back in at the 35 and goes down. At the 33, they said, nobody touch me. He's gonna go all the way in and touchdown, I think. Yes. You say you read everything and you see that you're underrated. Does, that has to motivate you a little bit. Cause you seem like a guy motivated by someone being like, you suck. You're like, oh really, I suck? Mm -hmm. Watch this. For me, every game I go into, I always have a chip on my shoulder, no matter what. Because, you know, I was drafted in the third round, you know, came from FIU. Nobody pretty much knows me, knows of me. So for me, when I'm out there and the guy across from me makes a play, I watch his reaction. He don't know that, but I do. And if you break up my pass and you celebrate, that would be the last pass you break up and I'm finna cut up. That's a no no. Gross one by T.Y. at the 50, 45, down the 40. Cut back in 35, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, T.Y. I just love just to be out there and just having fun. But once you make me hit that switch, then it's going to be a long time.